This is a new smartphone. It does most of the things this smartphone does. And it costs over $200 less. For five years, this has been the story of OnePlus. But this time, if you live in the U.S., you actually have a reason to care. I'm Mr. Mobile, and I've spent five days with the OnePlus 6T. Let's change it up, shall we? I want to start with the worst part of this phone. The OnePlus 6T ditches the headphone jack. And for the record, the company deserves every bit of the bashing it's getting for that decision. Not that I care. The dongle in the box is fine. And I'm a Bluetooth guy, anyway. But when you spend two years putting the screws to other companies for making this same move, you better be ready for the wrath when you take a turn down Hypocrisy Road. I asked OnePlus why they ditched the jack, and a company representative told me this. They wanted to move the fingerprint sensor back up to the front of the phone, for some reason, but they knew people didn't want a big chin on the bottom. So they dumped the jack, moved the vibration motor, popped in a 12% larger battery, that part's nice, and built in an optical fingerprint sensor beneath the display. Was it worth it? Uh, sometimes. See, the sensor usually works well. I've programmed three fingers to it, and some of them log me in smoothly, while others take a few tries. I do like it on the whole. You can change this animation, by the way, if the lightning storm isn't to your liking. Or just ditch the fingers and the security altogether, and go for the face unlock. OnePlus does warn that using aftermarket screen protectors may interfere with the sensor, so the phone comes with a protector pre-installed over the Gorilla Glass 6 cover glass. It gets smudgy in a hurry, but it's still nice to have. Let's move on. The immediate predecessor to this phone was one of the best reviewed of the year, the OnePlus 6, so it's no surprise the company carried over a few things. All three cameras have identical hardware, with some minor tweaks to help with noise reduction, portrait shots, and a new low-light mode. Also, the display notch has been shaved down to just a teardrop. It's just barely big enough to accommodate the selfie shooter. You can hide it, but as notches go, I actually think it looks kind of pretty. And the mute switch is still here to make silencing your ringer much simpler than on any other Android. Sharp-eyed folks will notice that these volume callouts look a lot like those on the newest version of Android, and that's because the custom software here is based on it. It doesn't stop with Android Pie, either. Remember the confusing gestures I called out in my Pixel 3 review? Well, OnePlus offers its own in their place. And yes, they're better. I still prefer the buttons, though, so I'm happy that option is here, too. And there's also a funky hybrid mode that kind of walks a middle ground. Along with the various things that come in the box, a case, charger, the aforementioned dongle, there's a letter from the company's CEO who encourages you to look at the phone with curious eyes. Well, it's good advice. You'll find tiny customizations buried everywhere, some new and some familiar. For example, you can now set your accent color to whatever hex code you like. Go ahead, be bold. The display can be tuned to an even wider variety of color calibrations or shifted to black and white for reading mode. Those nav keys, if you keep them around, can be set to do things like spring the notification shade on a double tap. And if you double tap on the wallpaper instead, you can now put the phone to sleep or wake it up. Oxygen OS is really good about these little tweaks, and with the help of the usual prodigious spec sheet, the phone builds them in without slowing itself down. For all the sacrifices it's made over the years, OnePlus has kept this focus, delivering flagship performance at affordable prices. Let's talk about those prices, shall we? Each year, OnePlus has asked a little more for its phones, and each year I've gotten increasingly annoyed with that price creep. But in 2018, the market has done OnePlus a favor, as smartphone prices are up across the board. The Pixel 3 at $799, the Razer Phone 2 at the same price, the iPhone XR at $750. Compared to those, the OnePlus 6T is a bargain at a starting price of $549. Better yet, for my fellow Americans, T-Mobile will carry the OnePlus 6T in brick-and-mortar stores, the first time a U.S. carrier has offered a OnePlus device. T-Mobile is only stocking the mid-tier offering, which is the Mirror Black 8 128-gig option at $579, a little more money there, but it is offering $300 to existing customers who trade in any OnePlus phone. 
going all the way back to the OnePlus One. And if you prefer your carrier in a redder hue, Verizon Wireless is also whitelisting the OnePlus 6T. It won't sell it in stores, but you can use it on Verizon's LTE network under the Bring Your Own Device program. This is huge for OnePlus, and I'm hoping the injection of some potent competition into the marketplace will help dampen those skyrocketing smartphone prices. But let's not get carried away. This would be even bigger news if OnePlus had done a better job of avoiding that price creep I talked about. Because folks, there is competition here. As I put this video together, you could get a Samsung Galaxy S9 at B&H for $599, or an LG G7 at Best Buy for $549. Both of those competitors bring features that OnePlus omits. Not just the headphone jack, but wireless charging, more camera features, better speakers, and uh, water resistance that's backed up by an actual IP rating. Any one of those things alone might not make a difference, but put together, they do make it tougher for this phone to stand out. If the 6T still speaks to you, I'll tell you when you can get it, and I'll ask your thoughts on how I should cover it further. But first, I want to warn you that glass phones are very easy to... Uh, oh, sh**. I already scratched the... How did I... It was in the case the whole... Yeah, I've... Anyway, get a skin from my sponsor, Dbrand. From marble to carbon fiber and everything in between, these are the best vinyl skins in the business. And just like the 6T itself, they're sold at a compelling price. Dbrand your OnePlus at the link in the description below. Before you scratch it, like I did, somehow. The OnePlus 6T goes on sale November 1st. And if you live in New York City, you can get one on the day this video goes up at the pop-up T-Mobile store in Times Square. I told OnePlus I'm going to swing by, so I better go ahead and do that. Come say hey, and maybe you can help me figure out how to cover this thing. I mean, this video wasn't technically a review, but the 6T is very similar to the OnePlus 6, and I already went over most of what's different in this first look, so what kind of video do you want to see? Let me know down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss the rest of the avalanche as Techtober, Phonetoberfest, Phone Avalanche, Phone Apocalypse rolls on. Whatever we're calling it right now. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.